That's between you and your wife. But what did you think? That, that you could just get divorced and I'd forget about all the lies? I don't expect to be forgiven. I know you well enough to know that promises and gestures aren't going to get me very far. But because of what we had, I don't want to be married to someone I'm not in love with. It's not enough for me anymore. You made me see that. So you accept that it is over between us then? I'll never accept it, because it's not what I want. But I respect your decision. The fact that you're your own woman is one of the reasons why I fell in love with you. I can hardly be surprised if you won't put up with what I've done. I love you. And I've ruined what we could have had. I'm gonna have to live with that. Are you serious? You're gonna get a divorce even if we're not together? And for the record, <clears throat> I'm uh, sorry if your getting involved with me has compromised your position at this school. Sorry. Can we just have a minute, please? Actually, no. Look, Amy Porter's just been to see me and I know why Helen passed that inspection. Parting gift from Helen. Parting? You mean she's decided to leave? Please tell me that you didn't give her the job just because you were sleeping with her. I think it was a one off a long time ago mistake before we even came to this school. Didn't really care about her future, did you? It was all about keeping your reputation intact. You must be thrilled waiting for an opportunity like this to bring me down. All I have ever wanted is for us to work together. You're the one who made it very clear that that's impossible. And what exactly do you intend to do with this information? No, oh, you worry that people are going to find out how unprofessional and revolting you are. I wouldn't lower myself. Are you going to talk him? Whatever I want to do, with this information, it will be my choice. Rachel. Please. I am head of this school. You'll do well to remember that. <laughs> 